Hello, I'm Stephen Webb. We're here backstage at the Criterion Theatre, just about to have a half-hour call for um, the Great British Musical, um, one of fundraiser for Perfect Pitch. Um, I'm singing. To, I, I'm. Uh, I was in a show that Perfect Pitch produced called Departure Lounge at the Waterloo East Theatre, and tonight I'm singing a Long Sunday Afternoon from Blood Brothers, and then going into du a duet from Blood Brothers, that guy with Jack Shalou, who is also in Departure Lounge. And then I'm singing a duet with Julie Atherton from a song called Just Show by Styles and Drew, and it's great because two, they're both two of my best friends in the world, and I'm singing duets with them. Fantastic. Excited? Super excited. And oh, you, oh that's made me feel bleh, yeah, nervous. <laughs> but I've always been told yes, nervous. Yes, there we go. See, we are oh, really so backstage. Um, <laughs> but I've always been told to say nerves or just excitement with another name. So I'm going to try to remember that and drink more honey and lemon, and I better go and get into my costume. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Jack Shalou. So let's start with uh, the kissing dance quickly. Yes. Um, so you're playing a. Uh, a I don't want to say. Yeah, a little bit of a trickster. Yeah, a trickster. Yeah. Yeah. He, he kind of is the plot, really, in the sense that he kind of he ruins these two lovely guys that come up from London to to court some ladies. He he. Leads them astray and tells them that they're going to an inn instead of the house that they're actually in, and the house belongs to the parents of the girls they want to date. So they treat the house like an inn and uh, are not very nice to the to the parents and the people that run it and stuff. So they already start off on a bad foot. So he gets in a lot of trouble for that. He does get his just desserts. So, yes, he does get. He gets beaten up, <laughs> but he tries to rectify the problem. But he's not the brightest spark, and he makes a few errors. But in the end, he, he really does try and help everyone out. It was, it was fantastic seeing you. That was um, a very animated part. Mm, it's, um, it's very physical, and he's a, he, he, you know he, there's a song called Beat the Knee where it's his come up and basically he gets beaten up, and it's um, I find like playing him up, it's very kind of normal wisdom, like the way he, the way he moves and like it's kind of Lee Evansy almost, like just because he. Uh, he, he isn't that bright, and I like playing the fact and hence my Edwardian side. Yeah, well. the, your mutton chops there. Yes, um, yeah, he's quite a character because there's the the other two strong male parts are kind of good looking male leads, you know. So I wanted to make him very uh, quirky and different to them. Great, it's a great part. So you're um, releasing an album. I am. We spoke. Briefly, just before, and you're yes. telling, to, telling us about it. So yes. What sort of music is it? Really? Um, I've called it London Soul because um, I'm a, a London boy, and um, the lyrics are very cheeky, and I have quite a high voice. So, it, um, and the music I listen to is quite soulful. Um, it's kind of got a few different sort of styles in there. It's folky. It's very live. Got lots of horns in it, lots of different kind of banjo, loads of different instruments in it. Um, but trying to carry on a theme of quite um, modern language, modern lyrics, and, and a kind of a, a cheeky tone to the whole thing. It's, it's very me. I'm not trying to. I'm not singing big songs that I wouldn't normally sing or anything. But it's not very lyrical or West Endy or anything like that. It's just. Um, some songs that I wrote and they're a lot of fun really and um, you were saying that the only song that you didn't write yes, is um, a picture yeah. book there's actually two. Oh, oh, two one I didn't tell you about one is picture book from yeah. Departure Lounge and one is a song that I recorded on a, a lovely man called Jonathan Io's uh, album called New Beginnings called Around and uh, that and picture book are bonus tracks on the album um, yeah, they're, they're both beautiful songs. Uh, picture book from Departure Lounge was a big part of my life. I really enjoyed being in that show. It's a very beautiful song. Um, I also sung it at um, the, a concert on Sunday at the Criterion, which is called The Great British Musical, uh, which Stephen Fryer hosted, um, trying to support new work uh, by a company called Perfect Pitch. And um, yeah, so it was great fun, and the song seemed to go down really well, and people really liked it, so I'm glad that it's on there. Let's talk a little bit about. Um uh, perfect pitch. Yes, because uh, they did uh, departure lounge. Yeah, they said. And um, yeah, how, how important is it for for um, 
British theatre to hit it for organisations like that. It's and so important. Because, you know, theatre is tough and everyone needs, you know, trying to make money. And, and there, a lot of theatres are having to put on shows that are, have didn't been done before or to have kind of big celebrities in them to sell tickets and stuff. And it's very hard for new writers and new work to get a voice. And what Perfect Pitch do is not only nurture and look after the writers, but they have the guts to put on new stuff. And uh, they, it's just so important that we, we get that, you know. If, if the Royal Court can do it, why can't other theatres do it? You know, we can produce new work that will be liked. It's, it is more difficult, but it is possible. And so Perfect Pitch are great, and they really nurture their talent as well, you know. They've really looked after me, it's been brilliant. Yeah, they're great. So, we've got a nip off in a minute, so tell, tell us where you're off to. Yes, I'm off to rehearse for Hamlet the Musical, which is going to be at the Royal and Durham Gate in Northampton um, in May. Um, and I'm playing Hamlet, which is fun. It's a show I did in Edinburgh uh, in August <coughs> at the Fringe, and it won, um, I think, Best Production or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a real fun, entertaining show. It's, uh, if you say Hamlet the musical to people, they think it's going to be, oh, that sounds rubbish, it's going to be all serious. And no, it's not at all. It's, uh, it's a bit spamalotti, it's kind of, you know, uh, it, it's just a, it's a comedy and it, it's fun. It's only six actors playing all the parts, it's fearless, it's, it's really, really great. And would Shakespeare approve? I think he would. And if you're a Shakespeare fan, don't be scared of the musical. It's not going to destroy Shakespeare's work or anything like that. It's, um, it's completely fun. And if you like Shakespeare, you'll get a lot more of the gags. And if you don't like Shakespeare, it doesn't matter. Cause it's going to tell you the same story in an in a easier, fun way with some really clever and beautiful songs. Thank you so much, Jack. There we go. Thank you. Fantastic. Cut, that's it, that's, that's all I need. Nice print. <laughs>